Hello everyone, today I am going to be showing you how to draw a moire eel. So, first start out with a pencil. Regular pencil works fine, but I use these special ones, 2H and HB. I prefer using the 2H because it's lighter. So, first we're going to start with a swooping S line. Remember, draw very lightly so that you can erase something if you need to. Then add curves underneath and lines that attach, like this, like that, and down, and get it underneath, like that. The other side, same. There. Now, here we are going to draw a curve like this. There. Ah. And one back here. I have to get it at the right angle so it's not too big. Let's do that. That looks good. And the same on the other side. There. There. Now here, add the little flap at the end. And make it go around like this. There. Erase that. Now we are going to make this little more slanted downward. There. Draw the mouth and the eye. There. And now basically just filling in the spots and add shading. Also under here, add a little bit of the flap. Now we can go ahead and darken it and edit some of the things. There. Make it darker. For this, I should have been using the HP pencil. There we go. There. Just the inside. Let's find the lines. Ah. Okay. That's pretty dark. Now, shading. First, before that, let's, I should add the spots. Use the HP pencil again. We need to draw them rounded so it looks like the moire eel is rounded here, so it looks as if it's going around this way. So like this. It's a little curve there, and same here with here, with there, this way. With the spots in the middle, it can be fine, but if it's like at the top or down here, it should be curved a little.
takes time. That and almost at the end. There. Now we can add shading. Now we can do it up here on the flap. Doesn't need to be coved, just spots. Make them smaller. All right, then smaller spots. Probably shouldn't make that a little bigger, but it's fine. The only shading is just here a little bit. Not too dark. Two A. Actually, this one. They don't need to be close to too close together either. Shading. Mostly need to add shading at the bottom of it because that's where the light doesn't really hit very well. Yeah. On the sign. Like I said, the spots take time. And also needs to be rounded, like I said before. Let me just do scattered first, then I'll do the ones that are in between. Okay. I can do it all. So now we go into the flap a little. And this one. Yeah. Now with the flap at the top, oh, I should have made that a little. Ah, it's fine. This this section here is going to be dark since it's underneath. You can do spots that look like that, similar to a leopard, or you could do it just circle or indefinite like that. Doesn't really matter. Although that kind of looks like a leopard, but almost there. Now we can add shading, it should be. Not too dark, but just enough so, you, but just visible so you can see the spots. Let's 
same with here. Let's do a little dark and go light. And at the tip, yellow. And edit anywhere else that you might have missed shading. Way down here a little bit. There. So there it is. A more eel. So maybe you want to put today's date on it, which is 9-17-20. And maybe put your name at the bottom. And that is it. That is how you draw a more eel.